With the current rise of Metu and the fall of Weinstein, have we entered a new time, an era when the cumulative mass of all this sharing, all these stories so difficult to tell, done so often by such high-profile people will have some sort of true and lasting effect? The New York Times published a story Monday titled Harvey Weinstein's Fall Opens the Floodgates in Hollywood. The article suggests, in part, that this is a watershed moment for sexual misconduct and rape culture, one that has the potential to shift the paradigm in Hollywood and beyond. But when the Oscar glamour wears off, what will happen to the rest of us to an obvious extent? It makes sense that the coverage around Meto has revolved around women with fame. Those with Oscar wins and Grammy-decorated records highlight the way celebrity status is only a protective cloak for some powerful men when it comes to cases of sexual violence. But we've been here, many times before, like 10 years ago when Burke first began the movement. The same thing happened two years ago when a similar wave caught on internationally under the hashtag Tell Your Story. We saw the same thing after the allegations against Bill Cosby, and then after Roger Ailes, and then after Bill Lorley. Yes, there are more high-profile voices this time, more tweets, but is now any different from then you have to wonder if this space women have carved out online will have any deep impact on the misogynistic culture embedded in Hollywood and the world around it. No matter what powerful figure falls, no matter what hashtags we use, sexual violence always seems to bounce back.